What's going on, grind schoolers? It's your boy Robin. As you can tell, we not in the shop. Uh, we are on our way to <clears throat> go check out the C10. I told y'all I was gonna bring truck content to the channel. I don't know how much of it I'll be able to produce. Like, you know, like I'm able to produce the Elko and the Impala and stuff like that because I'm not actively trying to work on the C10. And it's all the way on the other side of town, which is where I'm headed to now. So <clears throat> I'm a I'm going to go ahead and show y'all the truck a little bit um i'm gonna try to troubleshoot some stuff try to figure out if i can get a clear direction on where i need to go as far as like getting it running um part of it being on the other side of town makes it difficult to uh you know what i'm saying just try to like put hands on it you know what i'm saying and, and my time is not as available as it used to be when the elco was over there on the other side of town but um so i'm kind of considering like trying to figure out how to get the truck to my house the only dilemma and the only reason why I kind of don't want it to come to my house is because it leaks oil a whole lot. And I don't want it leaking on my driveway or whatever. And I guess I could drain the oil pan and stuff, but then it's like, how do I move it? How do I move it if, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to have to put oil in it every single time I'm ready to drive like the Elko or the Impala or something just to move it. I don't want to have to do that. So um, I got to figure that out. I guess I could just change the oil pan, but it might be difficult to change the oil pan if i'm gonna do that I'm gonna, i just want to take the motor out and i ain't got the time for that right now um so anyways like i said man we on our way over there um i want to bring y'all more truck content uh there's not that many people doing truck content in my section uh i know people there's it's not like they're not people out there doing it you know what i'm saying but the way i want to do my truck is not really that common where i'm at you know what i'm saying like down south and stuff like that and like atlanta and you know georgia south carolina all that kind of stuff they do the 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 square bodies you know what i'm saying like to to the moon um but there's not that many where i'm at like that so like to be one of the first people to have like a a a, a c10 that look real fly out here that would be pretty dope man i know a lot of people do you know what i'm saying the g body stuff uh everybody you know what i'm saying is doing a, a a box or you know what i'm saying a, a impala or something like that like i kind of want to be a little bit different and you know it's kind of dope how this this project fell into my lap or whatever because i actually wanted a different project which will still probably come but um we gonna rock with this truck for now but anyways man i'm gonna stop rambling i'll turn the camera on when uh dang i missed the light uh we'll turn the camera on once we get to the truck you know what i mean and then you know like we'll do what it what it do but before we do that hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification so you get a notification every single time we drop another video um yeah let's get to it all right y'all there go uh the truck you know what i'm saying it hasn't moved from obviously <laughs> where last time y'all saw it and you know shout out to whoever was like oh that's a long bed does a long bed you know what i'm saying it's gonna be a short bed but anyways um dang i don't know if i even want to crawl up under there and see but anyways i'm gonna uh open this door and uh i don't know what, what key it is i'm assuming it's this key but i'm gonna crawl or i'm gonna see try to see if i could see what's wrong with it like i told you guys uh Hey, let me try to figure out which key it is and i'll cut y'all cut the camera back on all right so situation is i hope this way no not this this way now situation is this cable i'm assuming uh so i guess the the starter the cable on the other end is is fried um I was sitting here talking to my dad and I'm trying to figure out a way to just replace the wiring for the starter and the ignition or whatever else, if that's the case, in order to um, in order to get this thing started because I don't want to have to go through rewiring everything. Um, the only thing is accessibility right now is kind of limited because the tires are flat. And it's cold out here, but um, I, think, I think I'm gonna try to figure out the best course of action because I don't want to have to go through rewiring the whole thing. And I think I could just do that because it doesn't matter if any of the lights work just yet. But 
Um, I'm going to start trying to get this in motion because it needs to move by at least May. Because uh, it's, it's coming up on tags. But like I was saying before I was trying to open the door, man. Um, yeah, of course it's a long bed. It's a long bed going to be converted to a short bed. Just to clarify for everybody that takes everything so literal. Anyways, um, yeah, I just wanted to see what I could possibly do. Yeah, I can't, I can't mess around in these conditions. It's too cold. It's too cold. It's too cold. Um, but interior, man, I remember riding in this thing as a kid. Interior, you know, it all needs some work, but you know, we ain't afraid of no, no little bit of work. Um, but first things first is, like I said, I'm gonna try to figure out the, um, I'm gonna try to figure out how to start this thing. Um, I wish there was a battery in it right now so I could see, you know what I'm saying? But I think first course of action, I'll replace the starter, uh, starter wire or whatever. Um, probably replace that and see if I get any type of action. If we do, then we do. If not, then... You know what I'm saying? We'll just have to start thinking about rewiring the whole thing. It'll get rewired anyway. I just don't want to have to rewire it right now. You know what I'm saying? But I'll probably source a new dash. Because I don't really want to be trying to fix this. Well, eh. Oh, yeah. No, I don't think I'm going to try to fix it. Because how, how like, frayed up it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, the foam, the actual foam is, like, lifting up. You know what I'm saying? So I think I'll probably try to source a dash. Somebody was selling one, but um, yeah, you know, whatever. But I mean, I'll take a look at it first um, or go to the junkyard and see if I can find one. Matter of fact, I might start getting on the hunt to see if I can find all this stuff. Um, the seats, you know, obviously need to be redone, reupholstered, you know what I mean? Headliner sagging. So, you know, there's some, some stuff that needs to be done. These door panels can probably be uh cleaned up they'll probably well we'll get it redone we'll get it redone fixed up you know what i'm saying i just wanted to like i said see what's what's all to what needs to happen this door is good um fenders absolutely gotta go they're rusted through down there down there on the inside like i said the bed is going to be converted to a short bed you know what i'm saying for like i said anybody that's got anything to say you know what I mean? Uh, grill is good. I like the grill. The grill is pretty solid, man. I'll probably paint it. Um, probably paint it black or something like that. Or paint it whatever I need to paint it. The whole front end is good. I'll probably keep this. The push bars. Because my grandpa, you know what I'm saying, really, really likes the push bars. Um, like I said, this fender is rusted all the way through. This door is probably got to go. Uh, matter of fact, I might actually... I don't know. Never mind. I was gonna say I might actually replace both doors because this thing is drilled into the doors. But I'm gonna just replace this door, and then the rest behind the cab is all gonna be gone. Like getting rid of everything, the camper, everything, the bed, and then we're gonna cut it up and make it whatever. Convert the the lugs to different wheels. You know, this is all gonna be in due time. Um, like I said, I gotta finish my other projects first, but. This is the real meat and potatoes of everything. If y'all could tell what that is, you know what I'm saying? Some big block action. But yeah, man, just wait until I put my hands on each other. You know, we gonna bring this to the channel for sure. Um, I know it's been a minute, but like, you know, I just said it's cold out here, man. I can't, I can't work in these conditions, yo. So anyways, I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna try to figure it out. Um, you know, I'll probably be back over here a few more times when it warms up. And I'm going to try to figure out uh, exactly uh, what needs to be done. Because if I can get this thing started, man, and I could just clean off the engine and stuff like that, then we would be good to go. And then the hood, obviously, you know, these uh, square bodies. I don't know if it's just square bodies or C10s in general. They have a problem with the hood hinges because they're so strong or whatever. When you try to close it it bends there's a picture that i'll probably put up of i guess a truck at sema i don't know if it came like that i don't know if uh you know what i'm saying like they tried to close the hood and it did it while it was at uh not sema mika model auction 
while it was at the Mikamoto auction. I don't know if it did it while it was there or if it came like that, but you could tell like it was bent because, you know, somebody tried to close the hood and they bent it. You got to kind of work the hood, you know what I'm saying, back and forth, you know what I'm saying, and work it down before you just close it. You can't just slam these things. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, do a cow hood anyway, probably, but, you know, it is what it is. We'll see what, what we got to do, but like I said, all this stuff is drilled into the, the door, so I'm going to have to fill those holes in and find some mirrors, so I might try to find that at the junkyard, too, if I can find one of these, but there it is, man. We're going to start working on this thing. I don't know how long it's going to take, how much work it's going to take, but you know, you could pretty much find all of these parts like on uh, Holly's website. Pretty much you could build the whole thing from Holly. So we'll see. All right, y'all. Um, I just wanted to show y'all the truck because it ain't been on the channel since I think like October or something like that. Um, I mean, it's still in obviously the same spot, same position that it was already in. Um, but I wanted to, um, for one, I wanted to take pictures of that camper so I could throw it up on Marketplace so I could sell it uh, because that's one thing that, you know, I want to get done, taken care of. Before I get it to my house, I want that gone um, so that I can clean the bed all the way out, clean all the stuff that's in the back, um, out of the out of the back of the, the truck there. Um, also, too, I wanted, I'm trying to think of a, a course of action that I can take to uh pretty much i guess replace like the starter um replace the starter replace the um wires and stuff like that um so that i could start the truck and make it you know make it work without having to rewire the whole thing um so i think all i would have to do and maybe some of you guys that might know you know what i'm saying can jump down in the comment section but uh, I think all I got to do is um, change that wire for the battery and change the ignition wire as well. Um, the ignition wire, the battery wire, um, and probably see if that alternator um, is good. So, um, yeah, just see what, see what happens, man. And I think if I just change the starter wire and the battery wire, the truck should theoretically start um i'm hoping it didn't like mess up everything but you know what i'm saying i won't know until like i start trying to change all that so um right now um i really don't want to be changing the starter but you know since it's on a truck it's not that that big of a deal i could just lift it up so when we start getting a little bit warmer weather um i'll go ahead and start digging into it and try to uh see if i could change that starter and see if i could change the starter wire fish that out and then change the um the battery wire as well and then we'll go from there but anyways um we'll figure it out uh but yeah like i said i just wanted to throw y'all on the camera real quick to to show y'all the, the c10 it, it hasn't moved anywhere it hasn't done anything it's just you know it's just there for now um and i don't have a, a huge amount of plans to like really go crazy on it you know what i'm saying right away I just wanted to be able to be mobile and, you know what I'm saying, be able to get it to the crib, you know what I'm saying, so that I could actually work on the the truck itself. Like I said, it's not really ideal. Um, sorry, my turn signal, I'm waiting for this light, but it's really not ideal for me to, um, it's not really ideal for me to be driving across the city to try to, you know what I'm saying, work on the the truck i used to be able to do that with my elko you know what i'm saying but that was before i had so much obligation and so much demand on my life um right now i just got so many things that i got that i have to do at any given point in time that it's really 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 difficult for me to find time to 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 move around you know what i'm saying so anyways uh that's gonna do it for this video y'all i hope y'all enjoyed it man um like i said it was nothing crazy i just wanted to put the c10 on camera for a little bit um and let y'all know what i got got going on with it um but once we start working on it and everything is starting to fall into place um it, it'll come together pretty pretty solid um 
yeah but anyways man go ahead hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification so you get a notification every single time we drop another video always remember work hard so you can live free